Hey guys, welcome back to Savvy Termed Life. If you're new here, I'm Tracy, and I'm so glad that you clicked on this video and you're going to enjoy this week with me. So, uh, this is kind of a week in my life, I guess, vlog, um, slash, you know, shop with me, slash prep and plan with me for my vacation. So I'm leaving next Sunday, the 4th for Myrtle Beach, um, and today is actually Memorial Day, um, and it is so crazy, like, normally in Georgia at this point, it's crazy hot, <laughs> um, like, it feels like summer by Memorial Day, like, I'm, like, pouring sweat, it's usually, like, at the lowest 70s in the morning, usually reaching 90s midday, like, it is, like, full-on summer by Memorial Day. Usually all of May feels like summer, but definitely by Memorial Day, like it feels like summer. But this year, it feels like we legit got a spring. Like normally in Georgia, it feels like you have like two, two, basically two seasons. If y'all watch the Southern thing videos, if you haven't, they're hilarious. Um, maybe they're only hilarious to those of us who are Southern, but <laughs> they get spot on. Normally it feels like you have two seasons in the South. You have summer, and winter and that's it like it totally like it feels like it's sick kips fall and spring but this year it feels like we had like a long legit spring like it feels like winter barely was here like we had we didn't have any snow days um it got cold but not like cold cold like it didn't get into the teens at any point um and then like I feel like March it felt like spring already um lots of rain lots of chilly days and like most of May has been chilly rainy days like we have not had like any like hot weather yet in May which is not normal for Georgia and this morning on Memorial Day it's like 10 o'clock in the morning and it's like 60 degrees and chilly so I'm wearing shorts but I'm also wearing a tank top like <laughs> and a cardigan like like a I, 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 I guess I refuse to, like, not dress for summer yet. Like, I'm just ready for shorts and dresses, so. But I wore jeans on Saturday when we went to the zoo because it was cold that day. Like, it's just crazy to me. Like, it, we actually got a spring, and it's not done yet. Summer is not here yet, and normally it's here. Like, Memorial Day is usually, like, the absolute cutoff. Like, summer is definitely here. But I am prepping this week for my trip to the beach. Um, and for those of y'all who are here for the Lily Pulitzer try-on, I heard you in my last video where some of y'all complained about, like, the first half being, you know, get ready with me, and then only, like, a little bit of it was Lily Pulitzer. So if you're here for Lily Pulitzer, I heard you, you were getting it at the start of the video, and then, but I hope that y'all stick around and enjoy the rest of my week and the rest of the prepping. We also need to get, I want to look for a straw hat somewhere, not exactly sure where. Um, I also need to get some stuff from Ulta, I need to pack, I need y'all's help deciding like what outfits to wear for the beach, um, so yeah. Lots of fun beach prepping and pack with me. But we are going to get a Lily Pulitzer. I do want a new Lily Pulitzer dress. My hope, because they don't, I didn't see anything posted on like their website, but my hope is that they have a sale today for Memorial Day, or they at least have like a sale rack where they have discounted dresses. Um, but, because you know, some of their dresses can get like $200 or more. I'm looking at more of like the $100 range for a dress, $100 or less. Um, one good thing that I've learned from about Lily Pulitzer is that they have really good resale value. So if you wear it for a couple years and you don't love it anymore, you can resell it for the same amount, if not more, <laughs> than you paid for it because, like, you know, they retire patterns and stuff. Um, but yeah, so want to go to Lily Pulitzer. We'll try on lots of fun things. I definitely want a dress, but like I said, I'm hoping to find one that is on sale. So that's where we're headed now. Um, so those of you, like I said, those of you here for Lily, we're getting right to it. So here we go. Sunscreen, strawberry, ice cream, midsummer's daydream, sipping in between long days, warm nights, gliding like light kites, sapphire, clear skies, whipped cream, cherry pies. Ooh, every year right around June 21st. And ooh, I slip in my swimsuit, diving head first. Everything's coming up, roses. I feel like the world is finally swaying in the sunshine. Oh my, 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 it's looking so fine. This 
box, the fireflies with the twinkling of secrets, whispering sprinklers, bare feet, fingers running through vineyards. Ooh, every year, right around June 21st. Yeah. Ooh, I slip in my swimsuit, diving head first. Everything's coming up, roses. DJ, I feel like the world is.
suntan, sunscreen, strawberry, ice cream, midsummer's daydream, sipping in between, long days, warm nights, gliding like light kites, sapphire, clear skies, whipped cream, cherry pies. Ooh, every year, right around June 21st, yeah. Coming up, roses, peachy, I feel like the world is finally swaying in the sunshine. Oh my, 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 it's looking so fine, divine. Fields of lavender, Provence weather, evening walks, the fireflies with the twinkling of secrets, whispering sprinklers, bare feet, fingers running through vineyards. Okay, so I tried on a thousand things, as you saw in the leaf holster, and although there were a few cute things, they were just like out of the price range that I was wanting to spend. The only one that was like in my price range was probably the short sleeve, like t-shirt material kind of like dress, um, and it was cute, but I just felt like I could get a similar dress elsewhere for cheaper, um, and then the dress I really wanted was the Lorena swing dress but online they are sold out of the extra large in the pattern that I want and I couldn't remember because Lily Pulitzer their sizing is weird they they often run big they often run large um but I couldn't remember the last time I had the Lorena swing dress if I had it in a large or an extra large and I didn't want to order the large if it was going to be too small and then have to send it back. So I really wanted to try it on in store and like see it on me to know. But they didn't carry, like they didn't have the Lorena dress like in the store. So I'm very frustrated because that was like one of the sole purposes, <laughs> aside from just being able to show you guys the dresses in person. Um, one of the sole purposes, purposes for going to the Lily Pulitzer store in person was to try on the Lorena swing dress because I wanted, I couldn't remember what size because I know I had, I had two Lily Pulitzer dresses. One was literally just like a true swing dress where it just like flowed all the way down. And that one I had in a large. Um, and I had the Lorena swing dress, but I can't remember if it was a large or extra large. And um, I actually, if I can find a clip, or if y'all want to go watch my LA vlog from last, not my LA vlog, my teacher of the year video that they made, I'm wearing my Lily Pulitzer Lorena dress in the first half of that video. So if I can try to like give y'all a little clip of me in that dress, I will. Um, but yeah, so I'm wearing that dress and I wanted it again in the new pattern, but it's not available in XL and I couldn't remember what size. I really wanted to try it on in person. I will say that the skirt was kind of tempting too. It was like a really like light material so I thought it'd be really cool and comfortable during the summer but I also felt like it was like $158 and I was like I already have them I'm trying not to buy things from Shein I'm trying to stay away from fast fashion but I already have a Shein dress from a couple of summers ago that I still have as a dress skirt that's similar that is still in good quality feels like the same material um and I could probably find a similar skirt like the smocked waist skirts you can find those probably anywhere. So I just, and I know the whole point is that you're paying for the Lily Pulitzer, um, you're paying for the brand, but you're paying for the, the patterns, you know? Um, but yeah, so I wanted a very specific dress and a specific style, but I did try on all the others just for fun. Um, but yeah, their sizing is kind of all over the place. Like there's some things where I could have worn a large, other things where the extra large was too small, but the XXL was way too big. Um, and then there was those two where the pockets were like pokey. And I thought that they were like sticking out in the extra large because I was wearing a size that was too small. So, but when I put the XXL on, the pockets were still like bulging. Like it was weird. Um, and then they didn't have, they don't have a size 18, but there were two 16s that had smocking. So I tried the size 16, but one of them went on but was way too tight tight in the chest but then the sleeves were huge the sleeves were falling off my shoulders but the chest was too tight 
and then the other one I didn't even show you because it wouldn't even go, go on over my chest so yeah uh their sizing is a little all over the place so if y'all are curious about Lily Pulitzer and wanting to try Lily Pulitzer on um I highly recommend if you're able to going in the store or at the least just being really careful and checking the measurements for each individual dress because like I said sometimes they run big and they'll tell you on the website like this dress runs small or this dress is true to size or this dress runs big um so if they run big you might want to size down unless you really want like a flowy feel to your dress so just FYI about that that their sizing can kind of be weird and I'm anywhere between a 16 and a 20 depending on like who makes the dress right now um I will put my like measurements my current measurements down below um but yeah like mostly I'm somewhere between a 16 and an 18 right now but every once in a while I'll have to get a 20 and something because of like who makes it but my jean size is an 18 although my 18s are a little big right now so but I'm like I'm in between sizes but right now I'm wearing a size 18 in my jeans and I usually wear an extra large or XXL in t-shirts and dresses like an Abercrombie I'm an XXL right now but there are some things that are a little big like I got XXL in their shorts this summer but they're a little big on me but I feel like if I went down to the XL they'd probably be too small so I'm just I'm in between a 16 and an 18 or in between an XL and an XXL if that makes any sense so uh if that gives you all a little reference for what you just saw in the dressing room um but yeah they didn't have the dress that I wanted you never know maybe I'm gonna go to a consignment shop later to look for straw hats and maybe they'll have a used Lily Pulitzer dress you never know maybe I'll get lucky and I'll check Poshmark I was hoping to find one before I went to the beach which if I buy one used online, it's not going to get to me before I, pa I leave for the beach. But it's all good. It was fun. I have other clothes. I don't need a Lily Pulitzer dress. It was just kind of a splurge and a summer treat myself kind of thing, you know? Um, but yeah, so. All right, now we are heading to meet my husband for lunch. And after lunch, we're going to go by that consignment shop and maybe an Ulta. So... Okay, so I just drove the detour <laughs> to get to this consignment shop and found out that it's closed on Memorial Day. So, good for them. Um, but it's a really nice consignment shop. It's called Consigning Women. If y'all are old, <laughs> um, probably my age or older, then you might have remembered a show called Designing Women. Um, it was definitely even before my time, but like it, I think it was... I don't remember if it was on reruns like when I was a kid or if it was like actually on TV when I was a kid because I feel like it was an 80s show if y'all are like a little older than me you can remind me <laughs> but it's like a, a play on designing women it's called consigning women and it's upscale resale so it's a consignment shop but they have like nice brands and I did want to like bring some stuff here I've got like so stuff that just isn't selling on Poshmark. So I've got like a C by Chloe bag um, that I bought used that I don't want anymore. Got a couple of Kate Spade like clutches that I don't want. Um, so I want I was thinking about maybe consign, you know, doing doing them consignment. So I probably need to call and like maybe do like an appointment. I also have a Madewell dress that I'm trying to sell. So maybe I'm trying to think, what do I have that's like upscale enough for them to actually take it here? Um, but I did want to look here and see if they had any, like I said, used Lily Pulitzer. Um, and then I'm looking for a straw hat. So I'm trying to decide, do I just go home? I'm thinking I might do the rest of my shopping later. I think I'll just go home. Um, don't want to leave the dog for too long. And we'll do our other shopping later in the week. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But yeah, so I might be done for today. Assuming you see me next, I will be dressed differently. <laughs> and uh, we'll be uh, doing some more shopping. Like I said, I want to find a straw hat. I might have to give up the whole Lily Pulitzer thing. Um, and then we'll also be doing my packing and prepping for the beach. So signing off till I see you next. Hey y'all, past Tracy popping in here to show you guys all the fun goodies that I got in my recent Marley Little, oh Marley Little, can't talk, 
Marley Lily order. Um, it is a company that does monogramming um, on items and I've been kind of like wanting stuff from them for a long time but just never ordered anything and recently they have a sale where like if you spent a hundred dollars you got a free item um and we've been wanting a cooler book bag for a while now um so i'm really excited um because that was my freebie item but yeah i got i think like four things so we're gonna dig into this and open it okay so this is my bag i'm not gonna show you the other side so you don't see my address but we are going to tear into this Okay, so these are the four items. I got three things that are coordinating and then two things that are not. Um, super, super excited. All of them are monograms. So we have a, I think this is the cooler backpack. This is my new beach bag. And then I think this is the, oh yeah, I got like a um, organizer like bag thing for my car. And then I got a new a straw bag for the beach. And then I got this fun, it's like a hair tie slash bracelet um, that I was going to use like in my car, which I will show you guys later. Um, but yes, yeah, so let's show you all these fun things. Okay, so this is the hair tie bracelet. It's like this fun like green, like, you know, sparkly kind of glassy, you know, like uh, color. And it does have my initials on it. Really cute, really simple, really fun. Okay, so this is the straw bag, which of course also has my monogram on it. Um, it looks like a decent size. The real question is, can I wear it crossbody? It's much bigger. I had a little mini one that I got years ago from like Shein, um, which is super small and surprisingly still held up. Um, but hey, Poe, wanna say hi? Hi, I say hi. I know you want my attention. Just give me a second. So I'm gonna check and see if this fits crossbody, but super, super cute. Love the colors, fun summer bag. Hey y'all, so it does. It works great as a crossbody. I love it. I think it'll be perfect for the summer and the beach. Yes, in love. Okay, next up is my mesh beach bag. Um, I already have a beach bag, but it's been kind of falling apart and getting kind of uh, messy lately. So I decided to get something new. And this one was a coordinating set where you got the beach bag and this little matching um, uh, cosmetic kind of pouch with it. And I have a feeling on the inside it's probably, yeah, it's like that, like, like I bet you could probably put like a wet swimsuit or something in here and it probably would be okay um but yeah so matching little set super cute it has like a um, shoulder pad here that actually connects the two um straps if i can get it off without like changing the camera angle um yeah super super cute love it this is what it looks like up like this so mesh super fun for beach um all right so the next piece which i also like i forgot to tell you i got um my monogram in like a white cream on this one and then i did white white on this one um i'm not sure if those are the same colors or not um but i did get white on here i think i got like an ivory because you know there's like a difference between like ivory and like white white do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so I did get the white on here. And it's just this really fun little caddy. Um, where's the, yeah, here it is. Um, just a big open pocket in the middle. And then it has all these outer pockets. And what I'm going to use this for is for organizing some things in my car. So this will hang up in the trunk of my car. I'm doing like a whole video on my new Honda CRV and how I like am decorating it and setting it up. So if you'd like to see how I'm using this, definitely if this posts before the car video, then stay tuned for the car video. But if I've already done the car video, then I will link it below. Um, but yeah, so the plan is to use this for organization in my car. Super, super cute. They all match. 
And this is going to be the last item. This is the one that I got for free. It is a cooler backpack. When we were in LA last summer, we bought a cooler backpack to take with us places. We did a lot of picnic lunches because we were doing like a like a cheaper um, trip. So we bought a cooler backpack, but then because we didn't have room for it in our suitcases to take it home, we just donated it to Goodwill. But now we're like, we want a cooler backpack. We got season passes to the zoo and we were thinking it'd be really good to be able to take a cooler backpack with us to the zoo to have like a picnic lunch at the zoo. So super excited about this. Yeah, I was going to say, if I can remember correctly, it was a $50 value that I got for free. And it does. It says right here, backpack cooler, $50 value. And the print on all of these pink floral ones is called Coral Floral is what the pattern is. So super fun. Um, this is the cooler backpack. Um, these are the straps. Um, it's kind of like falling in on itself, so it's hard to like show you right now. But I'm gonna unzip everything and show you what it looks like unzipped. Okay, so this is the cooler inside, which is very, very spacious. Um, and then they have this front zipper pocket right here, which is pretty spacious, just one big pocket. And then it has a front pocket right here behind the monogram. And then it also has two mesh pockets on either side. So this is what the cooler book bag looks like um yeah when it's like you know inflated properly but yeah so those are all of my fun marley lily items i will be taking um maybe the cooler backpack to the beach just in case but i'll definitely be taking um this new mesh uh blah, 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 mesh beach bag to the beach and then I'm definitely going to be taking my new uh, straw purse to the beach. Super excited. Like I said, stay tuned for how this is going to be used in my car. Definitely be on the lookout for my car setup video. Okay, so I got another order in the mail. And this one is a straw hat that I decided to just order on Amazon. Um, I can't remember if I told you, but like my head... It's like, I think like has a wider circumference. I don't feel like I have like abnormally large head, but I have a hard time with like hats fitting my head. So I got one on Amazon that allowed me to order like a large, extra large. Like it had like a small, medium size and then a large, extra large size, which I think is for the circumference of your head and not for like the size of the hat. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, so I came in this box. It says, say goodbye to plastic bags. All right, it's literally just sitting inside the box. Here we go. And I got the one that was like straw with a white ribbon on it. So I'm going to try this on. Oh, it's got like a neck thing underneath. That's cool. All right, so I'm going to try this on and I'll show you in the mirror. Okay, yeah, so it does fit. It's a little tight, but it actually goes like on my head. So it has like the ribbon like in the back right here but yeah so I think it works I mean I'm not in love with it but I'm just not in love with hats like in general either so uh but yeah so that's what the back looks like has the little bow pretty cute I think it's decent um like I said I'm not like in love with it but I think it'll like do the job. I mean, it's supposed to keep the sun off my face. Hey guys. Okay. So it is Friday. <clears throat> Sorry. I can't talk apparently this morning, Friday, June 2nd, air conditioner's coming on behind me <laughs> and I leave Sunday for the beach. So today we are going to do some packing. We are going to go this morning to, um, first I think I'm going to go get some Starbucks for breakfast and then we're going to go wash and vacuum out my car. Um, drop some stuff off at Goodwill and then go get my nails done, which is desperately needed. We're going to get a pedicure and a manicure. Um, and then, yeah, the second half of the day, I'm probably going to do some packing probably. Um, but yeah, so that's where we're at. Okay, so 
I am back home and I got my nails done. I have an amazing nail technician who is just wonderful. Her name is also Tracy, so it's just like, you know, meant to be. Um, and I've been using her for a few years now, and she's just wonderful. And she's always game to try anything random that I find on Pinterest or any ideas I have. So I wanted like a, a light blue, but with like a beach scene on my accent nail. And I thought, I don't know how well y'all can see that. She did amazing. So she did like a... I don't know if that's like really focusing for you guys but she did like half blue half like this kind of gold color and then a palm tree so super cute love it and then my toenails are just like a light blue that's like a coordinating color but yeah I think they look so cute I'm ready for the beach July with the sun up high, the cicadas sing as the weeks drop by. Read all day in a hammock sway, time like molasses and melts away. Need to beat the sleepy sweet heat, my friends call it all like to meet it. So you see, and I need a grease, it's a dinner under the olive trees. Hey guys, okay, so update. My husband has left for his motorcycle trip this morning, which is me and my dog. I went out this morning because my AirPods decided to like die on me. They've been like escalating for a while and getting this like scratchy, like staticky sound in them for a while. And so my, I was like, it had gotten to the point where I was like, I can't deal with this anymore. I can't listen with these AirPods. And so I was like, either go buy cheapo ones or just deal with it and like go to the Apple store. So I went to the Apple store, tried to get them repaired. They were like, they can't be repaired. You'll have to replace them. It'll cost 138. But it was only like 129 just to get new ones. So I just gave in and got new AirPods, which I know is like a huge luxury. Um, but I do use mine a lot. And I have like weird ears that no, I've never been able to find another earbud that fits and stays on my ear like an AirPod does. Like no other earbud will stay in my ear when I'm like exercising or just like cleaning the house or whatever. Like the AirPods, just the normal ones, not the pros. Normal AirPods that rest like in your ear, stay in my ear and don't fall out. I don't have any issues with them. Um, so I use them for everything, for watching things on my iPad, for doing my editing on my laptop, for like everything. So I just like went ahead and got new AirPods. Um, and then I went ahead and got some groceries for my husband for the week. Like, super, super easy things. I'll show you guys what I got for him. Sorry I didn't take you along with me. It was just kind of exhausting. Um, and then I'll show you where we're at with our packing. Okay, so I'm actually going to make him, like, a fancy, like, list. But I got him chicken fingers. I was going to get him french fries. I think we already have some. So I'm going to dig down in here. See if I can find them and then put them higher up so that he can see them okay. If I can find them. He might be having like french fries <laughs> with the chicken fingers and then i got him some just like a taquitos and i got him some chips and salsa a lasagna and a bag like caesar avocado salad a chicken pot pie um and then there's also a frozen pizza in here somewhere oh yeah i have a, a trader joe's frozen pizza down there so i'm gonna check and see if i have any french fries but yes yeah, so that's what i got for him and then please forgive how messy my uh, pantry is right now. I have some bread so he can have toast. He likes having toast with peanut butter. Toast and or cereal for breakfast. Um, and then I also got him some ramen. And he can also have sandwiches for lunch. Uh, and yeah, here's his chips and his salsa. I just did Publix. I didn't go cheap this time. I was trying to find my decaf. I was trying to find my decaf cold brew which I have bought before at Publix. It's like the Busy, I think that's what it's called, B-I-Z-Z-Y brand, 
decaf cold brew. But I've been to like every Publix in the area and I can't find my decaf cold brew. So I might just have to deal. Um, I, I, the brand, let me show you. The brand that I drink when I don't have decaf is the stock. S-T-O-K, I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, light roast, which is what I've been drinking. So I couldn't find my cold brews. I'm probably, my decaf cold brews. So I'm probably just gonna like buy some of this at the beach. Because originally my plan was to buy my cold brew, my decaf cold brew here and put it in like a cooler and take it with me to the beach because I was worried that I wouldn't be able to find it at the beach. But I can't even find it in Atlanta right now. It's just like, it's a very rare thing. Like finding decaf cold brew is like super hard. So um, I think I may just stick to my lighter roast, regular cold brew and deal and just try to like not have too much of it. Like only have like a little bit of a serving as opposed to a regular serving. So that's probably what I'll end up doing. So packing wise, we are actually almost done. I packed my bathing suits, my hat. Um, this is my new beach bag that y'all saw. Um, my, not my makeup. This is just my roller toiletries, much needed. This, unfortunately, this week. Um, and then my new Mario Lily purse that y'all saw earlier, my shoes. Um, and then the packing cubes that y'all saw and then I'm taking one sweatshirt and then I'm going to take my hoodie with me in the car. And then tomorrow I'm gonna take this. This is the only makeup that I'm taking with me. Um, I'm taking my Glow Boost. It's Garnier Glow Boost Illuminating Moisturizer, which is what I really just use for highlighter during the summer. Um, my fluffy brush. And like I said, I told you I switched all to Neutr back to Neutrogena products. Um, to help with the breakouts. So Neutrogena Mineral Shears Loose Foundation, um, Neutrogena Radiant Tinted Moisturizer, um, and then the, uh, I can't remember what this one's called, but it is the Neutrogena Concealer Hydro Boost Hydrating Concealer. Um, and then I found this cream eyeshadows. I'm just taking one color, uh, the creme shop at CVS. I'm just taking one liquid, um, eyeshadow. And then just, this is a sample that I've been in love with for mascara called it lash blowout. So this is just a sample size and I'm trying to decide if I will want to buy this. Um, I normally use, uh, what's it called? Um, benefit, Bad Gal, Bad Girl Bang. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Bad Gal Bang is what I usually use, but this is like like almost out like it. There's barely anything left in it. Um, and then I was also using another sample of mascara I bought, but I think I threw it away because I wasn't in love with it. Was it this one? Yeah, I think I was using this one. This is the Ciate, I'm not sure, Wonderland mascara but I just wonder wand I don't love this as much as the it one so that is what I am taking as far as makeup goes to the beach so it's super simple I'll be packing my razor tomorrow um my I need to write get a sharpening rice spiked on this this is my for my dermatologist uh my moisturizing cream but it's spiked with there's this like liquid uh, some sort of prescription that they gave me that I dumped in and then like mixed it up. So this is my spiked moisturizer to use on any spots on my body that like flare up. Um, but yeah, so, and then of course my toothbrush is going to get packed tomorrow. Um, but that's kind of it as far as toiletries go. And then for jewelry, um, tomorrow I'm going to wear my little beach rings. I actually bought these at the beach last summer and my engagement ring with my yellow stone in it and then of course I'll wear my actual like wedding ring engagement ring um tomorrow and then this is my little mini hold on I couldn't open it one-handed um but this is just like my little mini which is very fitting it's a little mermaid themed mini jewelry case so I'm also taking this pair of earrings and my hearts and then also my daisy earrings so I've got these and then my daisies look like, if I can get it to like lay flat for you guys, that's what my daisy earrings look like. And then two rings, I've got my daisy ring. 
And then I'm also going to bring the other like sunflower ring I have on. I'm going to bring that. Hey guys, editing Tracy here. So as always, I forget to do outros. So this is my outro for my week prepping for the beach vlog. Um, but I'm going to have to film a little outro for y'all for my actual beach trip vlog as well. Because I didn't film one. Because I just film all this content and just forget <laughs> forget to like close it out. Um, so I apologize guys. Uh, but yeah, so this is the end of our uh, prepping for the beach vlog. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you enjoy videos like this, definitely give me that thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos, if you'd like to see my you know beach vlog, I have some LA um, content coming up or LA trip as well. I have, of course, my normal stationary content. So if you would like to see all of those things, then definitely hit that subscribe button as well. Okay, guys, I can't wait to see my next video. Bye. Suntan, sunscreen, strawberry, ice cream, midsummer's daydream, sipping in between, long days, warm nights, gliding like light kites, sapphire, clear skies, whipped cream, cherry pies. Ooh, every year right around June.